From the Psych Hub Podcast Network, welcome to Coming Back Better, a podcast sponsored by HCA Healthcare and in collaboration with Columbia University Department of Psychiatry. Hey listeners, welcome to Coming Back Better. And we're gonna be taking a couple weeks off from our full podcast. That gives me the chance to share with you some short offerings. And then Marjorie and I will be back talking about burnout in the pandemic on February 2nd. So I know that the podcasts that I enjoy listening to really make me pause and reflect and help to bring about a shift in my perspective about myself, relationships in the world. And as you've been listening to these episodes, my intention is that you've been having that experience as well. And since I have this opportunity of offering you a couple shorts, I thought we'd take it one step further, give you a chance to shift from being just a listener to a participant and join me in a reflection exercise. So before diving in, how do you enjoy expressing yourself? Maybe you're someone who likes to write things out in a journal, or maybe you're a doodler. Then go ahead and grab pen and paper. Maybe painting is your thing, so head to your painting spot at home. Or maybe you find it really helpful to talk things through. Well, then you can call up your trusted buddy and schedule some time either over a phone call or share a favorite beverage with them, and you can join me in doing these reflection questions. Okay, now that you've figured out how you're going to do this exercise, I'm going to offer you some questions to ponder on and see what shows up. There's no pressure here. There's no way to get this right or wrong. This is just for your enjoyment and uh, curiosity. Just a chance to access that inner wisdom and see where it takes you. And please be kind and gentle with yourself. If some emotions show up at these ponderings, that's just being human. Sometimes thoughts and emotions will show up together. In fact, most of the time they travel together. If you need to take a break, step away. Just hit the pause button and be good to yourself. I'll be hanging out here whenever you're ready to come on back and continue on. And if you decide, nope, not going there, that's cool with me too. Okay, find a comfortable spot for some me time. Settle in, taking a full breath or two, nothing forced or fancy, just a full relaxing breath. And now just let your ears receive these questions and see what shows up. So first one, what words or images show up when you think about the pandemic, about COVID and the lockdown? Just noticing what words or images show up. And then however you choose to express those, take a moment to do that. If you need a little more time, you can always hit pause. Now the next question, what did you lose during the pandemic? I want to recognize that this can be broad and this can be a hard one. Could be activities or special events and maybe like me, you lost some people too. So be real kind and gentle with yourself on this one. What did you lose? And now, I want you to consider what did you gain during the pandemic, during the lockdown? What came into your life? Was it something of benefit or a gift or a blessing of some sort? Again, taking your time here, however you'd like to express yourself. And now, what are you grateful for from this whole experience going back the past couple years? What are you grateful for that you experienced during this time? Next question. What are you ready to leave behind? And again, this could be something tangible and physical or material person, experiences, habits, broad and open here. What am I ready to leave behind from this experience of the pandemic, COVID, and the lockdown? And 
And now our last question, what am I ready to carry forward? What am I ready to maybe show up more in my life? As we enter this phase after the pandemic, and what comes next? What do I want to carry forward in my life? And then when you're ready, putting down the, the pen or the paintbrush, or if you're talking to someone, just a moment of quiet. Another full breath or two. What was this like to give yourself this gift to check in, reflect on the experience? What was it like to give yourself this gift? Maybe just a brief check in with what thoughts are showing up, sensations in your body, what emotions making space for. All right, nicely done. Thank you for joining me in that. I hope you found some benefit and some value to it. And thanks for being a listener to Coming Back Better. Really appreciate you being here. And uh, until we meet again, may you be well. Thanks, everyone. If you'd like to reach us, you can do so at podcast at scihub.com. To be notified of new episodes, don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow wherever you're listening. And reviews are so helpful, so please do leave one if you can. It will allow others to find us and join along. Coming Back Better is executive produced by Jacob Morrison. It is produced and edited by Juliana Castro. The series was developed in collaboration with Linda Rosenberg, Carla Cantor, and Kristen Watson from Columbia University Department of Psychiatry, and Manisha Shah, Dr. Frank Drummond, and Amy Rushton from HCA Healthcare. Research is assisted by Melissa Leith. Show artwork was created by Arnella Jangoli and Ashton Smith. Audience strategy is by Alyssa Fackler, Sarah Hale, and Alyssa Yarama. A very special thanks to Andrea Wolbach, Trevin Stagall, Evelyn Valentine, Kaylee Sneed, Julie Plummer, Thad Thomas, Paul Kay, and Elizabeth Roosevelt. Coming Back Better is a co-production from PsychHub and Columbia University Department of Psychiatry and is brought to you by HCA Healthcare. I'm Paul Dager and my co-host Marjorie Morrison and I thank you for joining us. See you next week.